Hello and welcome to BQA Fitness. If you are ready to work your core from every angle, take a moment to center yourself, grab a yoga mat, and then when you're ready, come and meet me down on the mat. So we're going to begin lying down. I have some yoga blocks here because BQE Fitness provides them. If you have some yoga blocks, keep them handy. If not, don't worry about it. We're going to come to lying down on the floor with our knees bent, feet flat on the floor to begin with. And we're just going to begin with some nice deep breathing. So breathe nice and slow and deep. And exhale nice and slow and deep. And you can even put your hands on your belly and feel that belly expand and contract on the breath. Now what we're going to do here is on our exhale, really contract those abdominals and squeeze the, them in. And inhale, just release. Try not to move your back when you do this. Good, and relax that. Now we are going to move our back. So on your next exhale, we're gonna tilt our hips toward us so the low back comes onto the floor. And inhale, release back to neutral. Try it again. Exhale, tilt. Inhale, release. Now try to do it by squeezing just the abdominals, not the back of the legs. Good, and relax it down. You're doing great. Bring the hands to the side and we're gonna float our knees up to a tabletop position. And just hold it here. So your knees are bent at roughly 90 degrees. Your hips are bent at roughly 90 degrees. And we're just going to hold it without holding our breath and then take those knees and give yourself a nice little hug. Let's move on, bring it back out to tabletop. This time we're gonna drop one toe down to the floor and bring it back up and switch. So it's inhale to drop the foot, like you're dipping it into some water. And then we exhale back to neutral. Let's try one more each side. And then hug your knees and you deserve a hug. Give yourself a hug. All right, so now we're gonna add on. If you have a block, use the block. We're gonna hold it with straight arms right in front of our face and bring those legs back to tabletop. Now inhale, drop one foot, extend the arms. Exhale back to center. Good, so as the foot comes down, the arms come overhead. Let's do one more each side. The challenge is coordinating the arms and legs while keeping that core stable. And release the block, give yourself one more hug. The last little thing here is we're gonna twist. So bring your arms a little bit out to the side. We're gonna drop our knees to one side and exhale back to center. Inhale, drop to the other side. Exhale back to center. So you'll notice I'm not dropping my knees all the way because I know that I'm gonna to need to be able to pull them back to the middle. And if I drop them all the way to the side, it's gonna be harder. So you do what's best for you here. And when you've done an even number on both sides, give yourself a nice little hug once again. Relax your low back. Good, and we're gonna roll all the way onto our belly with our leg ex legs extended. So feet are untucked, legs are extended, arms extend out, and we're gonna lift arms and legs. Get ready, okay. So from here, keep the core nice and steady. We're gonna lift our arms and our legs off of the mat, strengthening and lengthening everything away from the center. Now you are also welcome to do one arm and one leg. Maybe switch arms and legs, pick what is best for you here, or do both arms and both legs. But again, try to lengthen everything away from the middle without lifting too high. It's more of lengthening out. And we gently come back down and let's take it to our child's pose here. Sit your hips back, extend your arms out, breathe nice and deep here. And we're gonna come back up. And let's find what we call a tabletop position. So come onto your hands and knees with your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. We're gonna inhale, arch our back, look up, lift our head and tailbone, and exhale, round our back, look down, drop our head and tailbone, and repeat, go at your own pace. Inhale up, exhale down. And on that inhale, really drop the chest and belly, and on that exhale, really pull the belly button in toward the spine. Let's do one more here. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Excellent, and come back to tabletop. Now from here, extend your right arm out and see if you can extend the left leg out here and balance, try to keep your hips square. Don't hold your breath. Now from here, we're going to do some crunches, bringing the knee and elbow together. Ready? Let's try it. So on your next exhale, bend elbow and knee toward each other and inhale, stretch away. Exhale, crunch, inhale, stretch away. Two more here, total of four crunches. 
stretch back out and let's lower back to our tabletop. Take a second to just shake out your wrists here. You can always come onto fists instead of flat hands too if your wrists are bothering you. Let's take it to the other side. Left arm and right leg extend. Find what we call bird dog position here. Breathe in and out. Don't hold your breath. And from here, let's crunch with it. So we're going to exhale. Knee and elbow come together under the body and we inhale, stretch away. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, stretch. One more here. And relax it down. Excellent. All right, so we are going to take it onto a plank and I'm gonna show you how to do it with the blocks if you wanna use them and without the blocks. So let's begin without them on our elbows, either our hands on the floor or our fists on the floor. We're gonna extend our legs out. Our elbows are right under our shoulders and we're not lifting our hips up or dropping them down. We're trying to create a straight line between the shoulders, the ears, and the back of the heels. And you can press into your fists or your hands here forearms are on the floor and like I said you can also have blocks underneath the hands or rather underneath the forearms I'll show you here so it will be forearms and elbows on the blocks and hands and wrists dangling off the blocks and the same cues apply we're making a plank with the body hold it hold it and let's drop down to the knees now from here we're going to take it to puppy dog pose so we're going to extend those arms out and drop our head and our chest, let them melt down toward the floor. Keep the arms extended or take it to a reverse prayer position with those hands behind the head. So you can do it with the blocks or without the blocks. This is what it looks like without the blocks. We're keeping those hips in the air. This is not child's pose. Gently roll up. Excellent. All right, so from here, come to sitting down. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Lean slightly back, lift out of the low back. And we're gonna float those knees up and lean on our sit bones, good. Now take your arms out in front of you or hold on behind those legs. Balance here, you can even extend those legs if you want. You can extend those arms if you want. Or if you want, you can try to extend both. It's very hard. Oh, I'm just gonna hold it here, good. Try not to collapse in that low back. And we'll gently lower down and lift out of the lower back. Excellent. Last thing here is we just have to stretch out the hip flexors after that. So from your tabletop, take it to a lunge with the right leg in front. Okay? So your hands can be on the floor. Your hands can be on your knee. Or you can take your blocks and put your hands or your fingertips to the block on either side of that foot. Let that right knee, the front knee, not go past the toes. Let it not go to either side, but be nice and aligned over the ankle. Let us sink your hips toward the floor. And we're gonna sit our hips back, take a brief little hamstring stretch here, flexing the toes back. Great, and let's switch it back out through our tabletop position. We'll go right to the other side. Left foot steps forward, find a lunge on the left side here. Hands, so hips sit down. Hands are either on the knee, fingertips to the floor, hands on the floor. Hands all the way to the knee or hands on the blocks. You can even lift your arms and extend them overhead if you want here, but that's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Either way, try to keep that front knee nice and aligned and our hips are sitting down toward the floor. Our breath is nice and deep and let's sit back into a brief little hamstring stretch here, extending that leg. Don't, you know, don't hyperextend that knee, just stretch it out till you feel a stretch. It doesn't have to look straight. And then let's briefly come back, gently lower that foot, come back to your tabletop and come to sitting. So I hope you feel all nice and worked in your core, your belly region. My name is Melissa. Thank you so much for doing yoga with me here at me. <laughs>